Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is June 21st, 2023. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with a reserve list card from Exodus, Mind Over Matter. This card is down 5.18% from $61.06 to $57.90 for its market price, and its average price is $60. Breeding pool here, and this is the gate crash copy of the shock land, down 5.35% from $21.13 to $20 for its market price, and its average price is $22.21. Worldly tutor here from the classic 6th edition, this card is down 7.36% from $14.14 to $13.10 for its market price, and its average price is $13.96. Gix, Yogmoth, Praetor, and this is the extended art version of this card from The Brothers War, down 7.73% from $12.93 to $11.93 for its market price, and its average price is $15.08. Next up is Dramatic Entrance from Shadowmoor. This card is down 9.12% from $11.51 to $10.56 for its market price, and its average price is $8.50. Next up here is Colonian Hydra from Magic 2014. This card is down 10.16% from $12.20 to $10.96 for its market price, and its average price is $12.82. Heroic Intervention from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This card is down 14.08% from $17.75 to $15.25 for its market price, and its average price is $17.75. Tribute to the World Tree from March the Machine. This card is down 14.32% from $7.96 to $6.82 for its market price, and its average price is $7.16. Our final loser here is Arwen Weaver of Hope, and this card is down 14.35% from $9.55 to $8.18 for its market price, and its average price is $9.57. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Commander 2021's Guillaume Master Chef, and this is the extended art version of this card, the one that you can find in the collector boosters. It's up 12.02% from $8.32 to $9.32 for its market price, and its average price is $9.25. The regular version of this card from the Commander Precon is sitting at $1.49 for its average price, and that precon is called Witherboom Witchcraft, which is a Strixhaven precon. And this card is also being played in other commander decks, like a new one from Lord of the Rings, Shelob, Child of Ungoliant, and Frodo Adventurous Hobbit. Next up here is Orcish Bowmasters from Lord of the Rings. This card is up 13.08% from $28.75 to $32.51 for its market price, and its average price is $36. And the pre release copy is sitting at $50 for its average price. The borderless version of the card is sitting at $41.84 for its market price, and its average price is $50.39. And this card is being played mostly in the Legacy format in Grixis Tempo decks, Painter decks, as well as Commander decks like Sauron the Dark Lord and Nekasar the Mind Razor. And the next winner here is Glittering Caves of Eglarond from Commander Lord of the Rings. This card is up 14.44% from $45.02 to $51.52 for its market price, and its average price is $70. And the Surge Foil version of this card card is quite expensive, sitting at $595 for its average price. And of course, the original regular copy from Time Spiral is called Gemstone Caverns and is sitting at $59.68 for its market price, and its average price is $60.22. And the most recent printing besides this one is on the list, and that version of the card is sitting at $60.88 for its market price, and its average price is $60. Nazgul334, and this card is at 14.88% from $11.49 to $13.20 for its market price, and its average price is $13.43. 
Nazgul 336 on this card is up 18.26% from $12.32 to $14.57 for its market price, and its average price is $14.97. Nazgul 332 in this card is up 19.20% from $8.96 to $10.68 for its market price, and its average price is $10.97. And the next card here is the One Ring, and this is the Borderless card that you can also find in the Bundle Pack. It's up 21.18% from $28.47 to $34.50 for its market price, and its average price is $40. The pre-release copy is sitting at $79 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $29.95 for its market price, and its average price is $33.94. And the extended art version of the card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $32.78 for its market price, and its average price is $64.25. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format and new commanders like Lord of the Nazgul, Sauron the Dark Lord, Frodo Adventurous Hobbit, and Tom Bombadil. Next up is another Nazgul, Nazgul 333. It's up 21.19% from $10.24 to $12.41 for its market price, and its average price is $12.66. Next up here is Cavern Horde Dragon from Commander Lord of the Rings. It's up 22.25% from $13.17 to $16.10 for its market price, and its average price is $16.97. The extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $22.42 for its market price, and its average price is $33. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Lord of the Rings, The Hosts of Mordor. Next up is Lord of the Nazgul, and this is the extended art version of this card. From Commander, the Lord of the Rings is up 26.82% from $6.45 to $8.18 for its market price, and its average price is $17. And the regular copy from the Precon is sitting at $3.63 for its market price, and its average price is $4.97. And you can also find this card in the Lord of the Rings Precon, The Hosts of Mordor. Next up here is Henneth Annam from Commander Lord of the Rings, which is also Reflecting Pool. It's up 28.86% from $7 to $9.02 for its market price, and its average price is $20.24. The Surge Foil version of the card is currently sitting at $240 for its average price, and the original copy from Tempest is sitting at $17.04 for its market price, and its average price is $16.20. We've got Aragorn and Arwen Wed, and this is the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs. It's up 34.47% from $5.57 to $7.49 for its market price, and its average price is $10.40. The regular copy is currently sitting at $9.30 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format and new commanders like Aragorn the Uniter and also Treebeard Gracious Host. Next up here is Call of the Ring, and this is the extended art version of this card from Lord of the Rings. It's up 45.06% from $3.44 to $5 for its market price, and its average price is $12.67. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $4.53 for its average price. The regular copy is sitting at $4.45 for its market price, and its average price is $3.57. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format in decks like Sauron the Dark Lord, Lord of the Nazgul, and also Frodo Adventurous Hobbit. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with... Mercadian Mask Chameleon Spirit, and this foil is up 24.56% from $10.71 to $13.34 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.91. Nazgul336 and this card is up 24.67% from $9.77 to $12.18 for its foil market price, and its average price is $35. In the Web of War from Atreus of Kamigawa, this foil is up 25.16% from $10.65 to $13.33 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.73. Nazgul 100, and this card is up 25.36% from $9.15 to $11.47 for its foil market price, and its average price is $20. Next foil is Parallax Tide from Nemesis, another old frame foil up 26.51% from $46.74 to $59.13 for its foil market price, and its average price is $59.12. Barrow Downs from Commander Lord of the Rings as foil is up 26.82% from $8.65 to $10.97 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18.92. We've got a time shifted foil here, Avatar of Woe, and it's up 27.08% from $12 to $15.25 for its foil market price, 
and its average price is $25.89. Panoptic Mirror from Dark Steel, this foil is up 27.39% from $7.85 to $10 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13. Cadaver Imp from Rise of the Eldrazi. This foil is up 36.59% from $3.28 to $4.48 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.31. Hell's Caretaker from 9th edition. This foil is up 37.34% from $13.82 to $18.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.78. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards would be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave. So please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.